A big thank you to our sponsors over at TaxCalc for making this video possible. If you're not familiar with the brand, then you really should be. TaxCalc makes award-winning, professional, accounting, tax, practice management and communications products, and they are trusted by over 9,500 firms across the country, including mine. Check them out at taxcalc.com and I'll also pop a link in the description for you to give it a try. Now back to the video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining all about making tax digital for sole traders and landlords. Firstly, what even is making tax digital or MTD for short? It's a government plan to make everything easier for businesses and individuals to get their tax right and keep everything up to date. It's basically a complete overhaul of the tax administration system. So we've already seen making tax digital for VAT for all compulsory VAT registered businesses and that's been in place since April 2019. Check out my other video on the changes coming into effect from April 2022. So when is making tax digital for income tax actually coming into effect? Sole traders and landlords with income above £10,000 are going to have to follow the new MTD rules from April 2024. Now, you might be thinking, oh, that's ages away. I don't need to worry about it. Trust me, it will come around really quickly. We will be recommending to our clients that haven't already that they are MTD compliant by April 2023 so they can do it for a full tax year before the new rules come into effect. So what do we know so far? We know that Smooth are the best accountants in the country. No, about making tax digital. Oh, sorry. Well, firstly, you will need to use some kind of compliance software to submit your figures to HMRC. We only work with Xero, which is a great piece of software for sole traders and limited companies. Also, we know that you will have to submit at least five returns per year to HMRC, one per quarter and a final end of year statement, and that is when your tax will be calculated. So in summary, we know that every quarter you must submit an income and expenses summary using compliant software. This will enable you to see estimates of how much tax you owe as the year goes on. Everything will be filed cumulatively, so you won't have to go back and correct any errors that you've found in a previous quarter. Still not entirely sure what's gonna stop people from just submitting zeros all the way through the year and then correcting it at the end, but I'm sure we'll get guidance on that soon. As far as we know, the headings that will be required will be date, amount, and category. So that's just three categories. Now I know what you're thinking, how could anyone get that wrong? Oh, trust me, they will. You can go ahead and sign up now. You don't need to wait. If you already have software, then make sure you speak to your software provider about how to sign up. And if you don't already have software, then you will need to get some first. I hope you found this useful. I'm gonna be uploading more and more content about this as we find out more. Thanks again to our sponsors, TaxCalc, for making this video possible. See you next time.